Oh, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, Lon Paul here in our next episode of our regular playthrough, Orbital Edition, of course. And uh, at this point, this episode is probably going to be towards the end of the expedition in June, so we still haven't been updated. I forget I've made all these episodes prior to the update. So uh, before I left this planet, we First of all, we're leaving off uh, where we uh, are going to be building, as you can see at the bottom right, the soul engine and the mind arc. Um, I'm going to be heading back to my base, but I remembered uh, for just a moment that, of course, there was this, the sentinel pillar. So, a little thing you can do here. See how the sentinel uh, is kind of hanging out there, all of them, just kind of looking around and not really doing much, of course. Um, he can't get past my ship. He's absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. But if you really want to have some fun, rather than just shutting them down, if you want to get some extra materials and stuff like that, basically, go ahead and get your uh, weapon out. Just start taking things out. Now, others should appear besides them, but it doesn't look like any others have. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Hey, guys. I don't see the healing. There. Got him. So I'm going to bring in a couple of levels of these guys. No, nope, I didn't want to get in my ship. There we go. Bring as many in as you can and shut them down. How many we got? If you really want to be nasty, what you can do like something out there. No, I don't see it anymore. So before you shut them down, what you can do is wait till you get to like level 5 when you get a two-legged walker in here and then turn around and shut them down real quick and you can call it done. Now these guys are a pain in the neck. Where'd they come up? Oh, they went the other way. Weird. Take out the healers. The healer's gone. Come on, recharge. Where'd he go? Yeah, there he is. I wasn't going to do this, but hey.
There we go. You know, with a better weapon, it sure does come in uh, pretty handy that you don't have to worry about these things anymore. Okay, level five. Take out the carrier unit. Take out the healers. There he is. There we go. Shut him down. And while we're in here, we're going to check out the weapon. Nothing special at all. It needs to kick me out first. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so the two-legged walker just simply ceases to exist. Wow, we just learned something new here, folks. So even though he landed and was actually fully engaged, he just ceases to exist. Wow. Well, okay then. And here I thought we could really uh, gather up some materials from him, but uh, I guess they're like, no, you didn't take him on, so too bad. Oh, well, there we go. But anyway, they're all gone. You know, really don't like a mess. These darn sentinels, you know, they just leave their mess all over the place. Don't even clean up after themselves. There we go. That's better. Planet is healed. Okay. Shall we? Let's head back to base, get that mind arc going. Alright, so nothing really special about this place at all. I'm gonna head back to our home world. I don't know where it's sending me here. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Let's take a look around. Our planetary system is nowhere in sight. Isn't that something? So we are literally very, very far away. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to hit the space station. We could go through the anomaly, but I'd rather have at least the space station on my... Uh, on my list of stations, if you will. It says to report this to Null. Guess we can't do it at the space station, huh? Check that out. I haven't been able to pull a space station in that close to another in a while. So we're going to report this to, to Nada. So Nada is the original traveler. The very first one. Others came along after him. But he's been messing with stuff for so long, it really has messed all kinds of things up. He shouldn't have as much power as he does, but he does. But that's okay. Yeah, okay, stop. Stop bowing. All right, traveler entity. Nada has watched your signal. Nada has seen the other entity. Other entity is old, older than Nada, older than our home. Nada feels them watching. Ask about them. Nada asks the other entity, "Are they first? Are they last?" Missing entity chose not to answer. They have ignored us. Apollo ent entity ignores us too. Ignores the travelers. Such is their pattern. It is valid. Nada understands. Oh, so he is okay with them ignoring him. Fascinating. Nada says you have met Missing Friend. Missing Friend did not like me. Ask about no. They are not like me or Nada. They have freedom, like all of you traveler friends. But they do not share the sights they see. They hoard them. They are jealous. Polo does not approve. Ooh. So Nada doesn't mind it, but Polo definitely doesn't approve of them. Alright, interesting. So, 
let's go ahead. I like I said, I want to hit the space station because I want to have it on my radar. <clears throat> As part of the list of space stations I visited. Oh, hello. Almost hit. There we go. Ah, blue and green. How interesting. Some of my favorite colors. Oh, wow. It's parking me at the furthest space. Nice. Must have done something right. Okay, so we are going to, as usual, we'll hit things here because we want to make sure we're not missing any uh, op obligations to get special uh, upgrades. Uh, let's see, we got a hyperdrive module, which we've already got. Uh, nothing special. Okay, good. Moving on. Hmm. Nothing special on that multi-tool. Let's go ahead and get any upgrades. Scatter Blaster Blaze, Geology, and Plasma. Nope, nothing gonna help me there. Same one, but B class. Okay, nothing special. And I don't think we need anything from there, but we'll go ahead and get our exosuit upgrade while we're here. Again, 200,000. Okay, we're done. Let's take the portal home. Off we go. Alright, so this will bring us all the way back to our main base. Who knows where in the galaxy we were. Unbelievable. So. We're going to do the mind arc. And I'm going to tell you already in advance, I think I know what I'm going to do with Artemis. So many times we have just let him go. I think this time I'm going to keep him around. All right. We're back. Hi, guys. Miss us? Been a while, right? Okay. Going here. We got to change over because it's still on the space anomaly. Craft the soul engine. So what do we need to do that? We need to boo, do the soul engine, so we got that. Next is going to be the mind arc. We need three glass. I'm glad I'm here then. That's easy enough. Miner. Silicate. While that is constructing. Hit our storage container. Don't think we... Oh, we'll keep that. Good. Alright. Put the rest over here. I'm going to open those up here in just a moment. Launch. Oh, that's right. We never did do anything with those, did we? There we go. Those are now put away. That's put away. All right, so back into here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's check this out, see what it gives us. Ooh, okay. 18 fuel, 13 support, 16 sprint. Mm, as much as it has four items in it, 33, we have, we replace this one, it'll probably be one that has core health. But it's got 45% life support and 30% shield, whereas this has no shield, 13% life support. But it gives me more fuel efficiency, solar powder power, and sprint distance. So, I wonder. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. We're actually doing really well, and we seem to be able to hold our own pretty darn good with the uh, Sentinels. Uh, let me see. Infra knife. Starship. Pulse. And launch. Okay. Let's try to install this and see what it gives us. 
Whoa, okay, 132 jetpack. That isn't really that great. These all have much better ratings, so we're going to go ahead and uninstall that. Okay, this. Let's check it. Yeah, that's nothing. Not even going to bother. All right. So that should take care of that. We got some dirty bronze for some reason. I don't even know where these came from. Probably from something I just went ahead and... Let me see here. Alright, we're all cleaned up. And ready to go. Oop, deuterium. Uh, do we have that in this... Let me just check the other storage, because I think we've already got deuterium. Let's see. Yeah, we do. There it is. Oof, got quite a bit. It's good to have that. That's very handy stuff to have. Alright, so we're back. Let's grab our three... That was interesting. Glass. Now we can make the mind arc. There it is. We're all done. Okay, assembly is complete. Alright, and we are... Our inventory is all cleaned up now. Let me go ahead and try the launch thruster stuff. Okay, it's not great. But it gives us a little bit more. It'll help a little. Uh, pulse engine. Let's put them both in and take a look. 13% maneuverability and 6 drive percentage. 5 maneuverability and 8% boost. Um, yeah, we get better out of all these than those things are. So let's go ahead and uninstall. Yeah, more maneuverability out of this, but this has boost and fuel efficiency, which is just as fuel efficiency. And the fuel efficiency of this one's better. So, gone. Okay, shield. 34%, which is better than the 30% S-Shield. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the C-Class. And that gives us up to 291, so that's really nice. So that worked out nicely. So you, now. So we got pretty straightforward on these, right? So let's go ahead and install these three. See what kind of damage ratings we're getting out of these. 876, 12% fire rate. 671. So this one won't be that great. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. So 12 and 8. Interesting. So 12 fire rate, 8% heat. Six percent. Six percent. Five. Okay. So, so damage is in this, but this one doesn't have damage, so what we can do is this. Now, this is 8%, 7%, 6%. 6. So it's already better than all these. Let me go ahead and undo these two and see what this does for us. Okay, 57,000 damage. Fifty-seven five still. Okay. Let's check it against these. Eight five eight six five. Eight heat, six fire, five damage. Let's see what happens. Just a little over fifty seven, okay. Fifty seven six seventy, so that's actually higher than the others were. Than with these two. Pretty sure, anyway. Okay. 57. What is it? Let's look at it again. 57, 670. So. Yeah, see? So even with that. Yeah, it's actually better. Okay, doesn't change anything. 
There it is. Okay, so that's our highest damage outputs th thus far. So very, very good. So we're going to go ahead and keep that here. I am going to put these away in case I want to use them in another ship um, later on. But good to have. Good to have. So that worked out nicely. Ah. And I'm going to go ahead and put you away. We're going to put our pirate transponders away. We'll keep you in case we need you. There we go. That looks a little better. A little cleaned up now, right? Alright. Nope, that goes in the other bin. Pirate transponders. Are they in here? No, they're not. Alright. I think everything goes into the other bin. Everything else goes into the other bin. There we go. Yep, there they are. See? Got 20 of them. Sick 40 of them already. Can't put that in. Can't put that in. But we can put that in. Okay, so these go in here, and we're done. I like to keep everything organized somewhat. Somewhat. I'm going to have to build another cargo container here soon. And then one day I'll reorganize everything. All right, so away we go. We need to bring the mind arc to Artemis. So now that we're back on our home world again, we can do the rest of our stuff on this paradise planet rather than these nasty, nasty planets. Love to try to land on top of the navigation tower there, or the communication tower. Let's see how that goes. Okay, here we go. Capturing Artemis. Tower hosts a powerful transmitter. We're tuning to Artemis. Oof. Right through my back. Okay. Comfort Artemis. Attempt to comfort Artemis, telling them everything will be alright. They turn to me with a wild look of panic, clearly not expecting my voice. Who is that? Who? Psst. Identify yourself. I tell Artemis I'm their friend, that I could not find them within the portal, that I have found a way to restore them. I didn't, I didn't think you would come back. You never gave up, did you? All these years. Ask what Artemis means. I've... I've been here for 20 years waiting for you to... You were going to find my star chart. Words claim they will be safe soon. Who is that? Who? Who's there? Artemis repeats their words again, our conversation all but forgotten. They stare at me, their eyes pained, their mind trapped in an endless loop. They appear to have spent twenty years in this pseudo-death, haunted by loneliness and fear. If the stranger's device works, perhaps I can help Artemis move on. We use the mind arc. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what to expect. Some show of light, fury, some catharsis where an Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it's not to be. One moment I see their hologram, and the next... There's nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. There are signals still active. There's no. Travelers are a dream. An idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Art Apollo too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone. Not truly. But... The closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that the glad, not of the glad. Let's try that again. And this is very important, so we want to get this right. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass, or the aerons, or the progenitors. It is that final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. And we're gone. Now, mind you, we haven't even talked to Apollo yet. You notice that Apollo hasn't really appeared in a while, so we have yet to talk to him about all this. 
All right. So we're going up to the anomaly again. We're going to talk to Nada and Polo. See what we do next. Now, if none of you have ever seen this before, this gets kind of sketchy. You notice that everything is tied to the glass. It's tied to the Void Mother, which isn't really mentioned here, but it's alluded to. The incursions that the Atlas has told us about. Thousands of them. Not millions, not billions, but thousands. They've tried crossing over. Will the Void Mother be successful? I guess we'll find out soon. Grand Entity, Polo observed your signal approach, but it was not, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? Nada's visor light flares, burning with concern and distress. Reassure them. I tell Nada that I am well. My condition has not changed since I emerged from the portal. Nada relaxes, but a question still hangs in the air. I tell them about Artemis, about Null, and about the Mind Arc. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I... I never thought to see a traveler soul. You are so beautiful. But, friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain. Disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. Ask why. Artemis Echo will never have body again. Will never explore again. Old life, gone. But we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine. It is something living. A refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine, to sub-simulation, where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. So we're going to ask about the simulation. Ask what life would be like inside this simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends. Such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose, upload them to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. So we're going to ask if there's another way. Nada shakes their head strangely, trying to adapt, adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. You must choose, upload to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Say that you've decided. Go ahead and speak with Polo, Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machine no matter what your decision. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are, Traveler. Specialist Polo. Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you, no matter the choice. I will prepare the machine. It is not as it is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Okay. So we need to take a walk into the back. And here we are. Terminal Prime. The machine is ancient and powerful. A relic of a world long since destroyed. Pay attention to that. This, the craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to often and with great love. So we got to ask this question, of course, now that we're reading this and the, all the knowledge we've taken over the years that we played the game, uh, especially in light of recent events last December with the, re with the uh, reveal of Light No Sky. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> See what I did there? Light No Fire. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. Very interesting. So this may be an artifact from the world of Light No Fire. So let's keep that in mind. Maybe we'll find something similar to this one day. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker as they commune with the machine. The words on panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity authorization detected secondary simulation, right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system. A prayer offered by ancient Korvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system so dear to Nada, it will act as a home for Artemis, should I wish it. 
Normally, in the past, I always allow Artemis to die. I've only ever once uploaded them. I'm going to do that a second time this time. I want it, it causes a different story arc to occur. And you will return here several other times to speak to Artemis. So we're going to upload. I upload Artemis to the simulation, a spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. And we'll leave. Nada tells me that it is done, and for my sake they will permit transmissions to and from the simulation, at least while the anomaly passes through safe systems. They warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow adjusted to their new life. There she is. Inside the simulation. So, interesting machine here. Let's take another close look at it. It's like a ball. It's a concave area within the ball itself. The projector coming down. So, I wonder to myself whether we're going to have something like this in Light No Fire. Fascinating. Alright, let's move on. So, uh, to continue, return to space and contact Apollo. Here we go. Oh, while we're here. Remember, we keep forgetting to do this. Multi-tool decommissioning. Uh, we're going to claim the scrap. We're going to get three million for it. And some other stuff, of course. Okay. Let's get the next one. That is this one here. Claim the scrap, only 34,000. Ugh. Yeah, not worth much. We'll get some C-Class stuff out of it. And then one more, which is you. Now, we do need another multi-tool before we get through the center of the universe here, so we need to make sure we get something else. Alright, good deal. All set. So we get a lot of upgrades out of this, and we get some money, if you will. So I gotta sell all these upgrades. There is a place to sell it here. I don't know if you folks know this or not. But while you're in the anomaly, you can sell off old tech. Like these, that I don't need. Ares is your man. Woman? Man. Okay. You go to purchase upgrades. And select sell. And you can sell all these off. Okay, good deal. You can buy some basic upgrades from him. They have B and C class. So if you're really desperate for something, you can get them from him. While you're here, since you've been doing some traveling... Transmit milestone data. And I just ended up with an extra 400 nanites on top of what I just did. Do the same thing with Helios. And data on creatures. Okay, and he doesn't usually give me much. Yeah, 100, that's all. But 100's more than I had. Uh, there's my ship. Alright, so we're done in here. Let's go ahead and make sure we got everything all set up and ready to go. We do. Artemis is in the computer, and we will check him out later. So we're going to let Apollo know of Artemis' fate. We just got to get out into space. And we're going to communicate with him. I think we're going to get out of the way of the asteroid field. There we go. Are you receiving? The hollow terminus is showing available again. Your signal was... I thought you were gone. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best I can. The gateway, the strange planet, a vast machine, the crimson orb... As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It is just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the atlas itself. You? You saw it? You met the atlas. The Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought. Are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. See, terrifying? Machine? It's not a god. Definitely, I'm going to go with number three. Tell Apollo of the things the Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels, if that they were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, I feel as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. 
At least it didn't harm you. And I think, I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay home homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of the, of this Atlas. Uh, we should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel nest. We will be rich before we know it. Uh, say talk of money is absurd. I used to say there's more important things, but I'm going to choose that one. I suggest talk of rewards is absurd at a time like this. The Atlas felt hostile, inexplicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that has happened since. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave of my account and my encounter with the mysterious traveler, Null. I suggest there is more going on here than an opportunity to earn units. Artemis is dead. I... I don't... How? How would... I made fun of them. But that was... It was easy. They, they cared. They believed. And I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. Tell them of your choice. I tell Apollo that Noel gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo was initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis going to meet Artemis, but I explained the nature of what I did, till then Artemis' soul lives on, on only within a simulation, unable to go beyond. I ask if this was right. It is a long time before Apollo speaks again. Will they be happy? Say you do not know. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you f might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you, if that much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith, search for patterns in the data. And these things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. And the communication. Okay. So, we need to find a monolith. We need to use a monolith to search, uh, to locate a portal for Apollo. Use C to search for portal ley lines. Now... This is going to lead us to a path. Once we get all of our uh, lifts, and we can go through the portal on our own, we need to understand that we're going to have to have another multi-tool, or else we're going to have some trouble later on. And I'll explain why later. So let's go ahead and, I guess, hit C. Let's do a quick search. Potential monolith detected. Down that way. Over there. Okay. On our way. Okay, it's on this planet coming up on us right now. Yeah, it's kind of a weird storyline at this point. I'm not used to doing it. Um, I think in the next episode, once we get past this portion of things, the next episode we're going to go back and finish out our base... To just take a break from things. We might do Dreams of the Deep soon. What do we got? Let's see what this guy wants. Great interloper, blah, blah, blah. Corporal Briolea's ship appears to be in urgent need of repair. May not last another warp. Yeah, we can send an antimatter housing. That's fine. Lifeform's eyes widen with gratitude. They give me what they can spare before departing to repair their ship. Standing increased. And I got a bunch of nanites for my trouble. 62. That's not too bad. Nanites are always appreciated. Beautiful, isn't it? There's something to be said for this game and the beauty of it. Alright. Down we go. It's an approximate location, so we're going to have to look. And to begin to search, let's take a look here. I'm gonna do a quick 180 or 360, I should say. Oh. Is that it? That's it. We found it. <laughs>
All right, here we go. Anomaly, 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 anomaly. I see the stone of the monolith. It's a movable, muted silver. And yet something lurks beneath. It is gray, yet not gray. A crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate a portal. Ooh, we got a portal location. That easily, huh? Tracing source. Well, that was weird. It was kind of all over the place. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. We located a portal for Apollo. We'll go up here. We'll take a pulse drive to it. On the other side of the planet, apparently. Will we get daylight or will it still be nighttime? Daylight it is. It looks like an exact location. Oh, I like this location, too. Top of a mountain. Very sweet. Alright, here we are. Alright, so we have to activate the portal and look for glyphs. Now this one, I think, yeah, this one we have to repair. Sodium. Sodium. I go around and I like to do all the sodiums first. And then do the next one. Dihydrogen. Hydrogen. Dihydrogen. And finally, dihydrogen. Next one is cadmium or copper. We don't have any copper. We'll have to use the cadmium, unfortunately. Which I really don't want to use, but it's okay. And last but not least is... Let's see. I'm going to do condensed carbon. Go. Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I'm unsure if I should listen. We're just going to get the planet's address. There it is, at the very top of the screen. Nothing special. We don't need to record it or take a picture. Okay, we're done. So we, we got the planet's glyphs. So what do we need to do? Relay to Portal Glyphs to Apollo Hollow Tournaments. So let's go ahead and scan. Landing platform. We don't really need to be going here. Incoming store. Alright, so the Hollow Terminus should be coming up here in just a moment. Just going to slow it down just a little bit. Take a look. Something over there in a the distance, but I don't think it's going to be that far away. Circle up higher as we go. Let's check up on top of the mountain. Yep, there it is. Okay, we are here. Owl Terminus is where we're going. Minus 140, huh? Nice. Can't see a blessed thing. Activated. Going to Apollo. There he is. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. Ask about the farm. Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much. Mostly fruit I found in my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. A anyway, this is no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal, of what happened to Artemis when they walked the that same path. I think of the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Give him the glyphs. 
give Apollo the glyphs asking them to take care, to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can of this from the so-called Null. They warn me to be careful, too. Wait, wait. Back up. Hey, Null. Two lost souls, one who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being, being that has ever lived has felt the, that way at some point. I know I did once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I'm here now, and I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need to help. I need your help to figure out. Ask why they need your help. The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that. Seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a Sentinel would do if they came across my form? No. It has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to your investigation. There, there you will find the first secret. I am sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or the wind might be called such names. But it is terrified. It is in pain. And we have a responsibility to help its suffering. No matter the cost. Okay. So, nothing like mysteries within, uh, wrapped within enigmas and deep fried and dipped in bacon or something. Uh, chocolate. Okay, so off we go to an observatory. But it says first, bring news to Nada in space. So we gotta do that again. We're coming close to the end of the main story arc where we're just gonna be getting glyphs here in a little bit. So. So we'll be finishing this soon. Okay. Of course, it's got to park me all the way over here. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Sit in the spaceship too much. Gotta gotta get some exercise in. Burn. No pain, no gain. Oh, would you cut it out already? You are becoming more visible, Donata, traveler friend. Your eyes lend themselves to our small convergence. This makes Nada happy. Nada is not happy with other events. Portals are infected. Vector to corruption. Vector for corruption. Artemis Entity perished in the portal. Apollo Entity will only spread corruption. Danger. Ask more. Atlas Falsity watches the portals. Portals belong to them. Those who enter may belong to fa Atlas Falsity. Great danger. Okay, so it's telling us that there's a possibility we could lose Apollo if he goes through. Not a friend does not trust the portals. Sick, scared of rampancy of the Crimson Hunter. But I do not fear in the same way. What might we discover, Traveler Friend? What might we learn from them? They have the same roots as you, as our home, as all this universe. Ask about fear. Nada is scared we may lose our home. I am scared I will forget the world outside it. Do not let us forget, traveler friend. And that's it. Well, okay then. Off we go. So we're going to go on to the next stage of this, and that is to exit the station, first of all. Before we do, first traveler, let's go back to the observatory. This is Knoll's chosen observatory that we're going to, as it states. go. A little bit of oomph into the engines there. And here we are. So. There's an unknown building all the way down there. That's too far away. 
gotta be this. Is this the observatory, I guess? Yeah, 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 there's the dish on the top. Dish is up there, so... Bear with me just a second. Okay. Oh, let's see. Yep, I've already discovered everything on this planet. Let's head into the building and check out things. Okay. Nothing to gather from here. Let's check with this guy real quick, just to see what the enforcer has to say. Grabs at my multi-tool, stares at it dismissively, then starts yapping straight in my face. The yaps turn into slow, hollow barks. They are unimpressed, and dramatically so, at that. Interloper, your pathetic blah blah, my ancestors. I don't even know where to go with that. My blank, blank, and blank. Death, death. Well, that sounds like it's a positive conversation. I think he's trying to encourage me. Suddenly, a holographic catalog of armaments and attachments appears. The Ari warrior opens their arms wide and embraces me. Alien sales traditions are a curious thing. So, do we pay for an exosuit upgrade or pay for multi-two upgrade? 15,000 units each, depending upon which one we feel like going with. Uh, I'm up for the multi-two upgrade. I mean, I don't know what kind of upgrade it's going to give me, but let's go ahead and do it. Warrior cheers, embracing me in a hug that nearly crushes my ribcage. They take my units and immediately hand me an upgrade for my multi-tool. Hmm, an S-Class scanner module. And my standing went up. So let me let me see what this gave me. Hold on. Uh, there it is. Let's try it out. Okay, so it is... Scan radius 38. Fauna and flora are both, uh, let's see, 6,500 and 7,100% each. And we see this one is flora at 9,800. Flora at 65 and 9,000 for mineral. And last one is... All three at six for fauna, a uh, sixty-five for fauna, seventy-six for mineral, and eighty-seven for flora. But this one has a thirty-two percent, and this one has a thirty-one percent scan radius. Gosh, I wish I could keep all three of them, four of them that is, because I love the scan radius going up. Flora and fauna, flora and fauna, and flora and mineral. Okay. So I'm going to keep these three. I know this one has three, and that's really, really great. It gives me a lot of money, but I like the scan radius because the scanner range was always not the fan most fantastic. So let me uninstall one. And our scan radius goes up to 800 and almost 840 now. That is fantastic. Okay, good. So we won't get as much money, but man, we're going to have some serious scanner range out of this sucker. All right. Good deal. Let's go ahead into this uh, observatory. Null's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The log's ready for me to read. The observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by a GEC specialist. A translator, they were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment. But it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist, and events that did not happen. That Gek went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Korvac still on board. They never returned. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Is this how my friends found each other? There is a signal in the console, a warning on repeat. Sixteen short bursts of data in a loop. Extract the coordinates. I extract coordinates for the distress signal. A crashed vessel awaits me on another world. Okay, it's going to do the big pullback as usual. We're going to go check out that other world real quick in the freighter and get the end of our Nada and Polo story. And check it out. And then we're going to call it done on this episode. Off we go. Can we boost from here? We can. 341,000 kilometers away, apparently. But, it's on the other side of our planet. 
and to another planet. Oh, the moon. Okay, crash site. Approximate location, so we just gotta look for, yeah, that big wreck right there. Alright, coming in for a landing. This is not as crashed freighter. Okay, here we go. Crew manifest missing. Oh, we need the encryption keys. Okay, so that's what this one does. So we have to get all the encryption keys from the cabinets. Cargo containers. First one's over here. Should be right down here. Hold on. There it is. Clear away the garbage that's on it. There's one. I'm going to get the other one, which is over here. We'll stay in the first-person mode. There you are. There we go. Clear. Two. One right here. Oh, there it was. Three. Great. Had someone attacking nearby. Here's four. One, two, three, four, five. This is actually six. Look at that. A little bit of a fighter battle going on up there. That's pretty cool. When was the last time you ran into seeing something like that in person? I'm definitely getting a picture of that. Very nice. All right, while they're playing, I'm going to go in here and start getting this ball rolling. Crew manifest missing limited data, so we're going to read it with the first encryption key. I do not know, this is the shuttle remains, I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem to so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. Continue. Ship's log requested accessing another encryption key. They struck as one, an attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. With a fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. In the universe, folks, we're not talking in the galaxy. Every universe, every galaxy, 54.2 minutes. Only I remained. The Korvax stood with me in the end, to their credit. They concealed me with their flotilla as they headed towards the center. Continue. Compromised, patching, read log. They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know, all of us. We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me. A thousand. A million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed. No matter the horror at the, of the end. They are at my door. I... Error. Unexpected log termination. And so we know how Nada and Polo met. 
So that is going to be the end of our episode here, folks. I'm going to call it here. And after this, the neat part is I'm recording this before the latest update in June. I am recording this. This is my very last episode that I'm going to create as part of the orbital run through. So my next episode that I recorded this is going to take place sometime after the expedition and after the latest update. Then we're going to go from there. So I want to thank you all for watching and keeping up with it. Hopefully things will go well and we'll have a new episode coming soon. Take care, everybody. See you later. And hit that like and subscribe. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You people are wonderful. Thank you.